For instant MSP and PSN codes, visit the game keys. And for instant coins, visit justfifacoins.com. Use Nick at checkout on both sites for 5% off. What's up, buddies? Welcome to really the 100,000, I guess, subscriber celebration video. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably looking at this and being like, uh... Why is this such a shitty quality video? Well, I'm doing this on my iPhone and a lot of you guys have requested me to do a kind of office tour. Now, you're not gonna be impressed by this, so please don't judge me. What you see is what I've been streaming on and using to make videos and record and do all of my live streams for the last uh, year almost. January is when we started doing our YouTube videos and November 15th, which has either passed or been pretty close, I don't know when you're actually gonna be watching this video, is when we started streaming. Now, this setup is the old setup. I'm going to be moving into a soundproofed, renovated office across the other side of the house over there that I'll be showing you guys very soon. But I kinda of wanna show you guys where I've come from and where I've started everything and kinda of my ghetto ass setup compared to what I'm hoping will be a much more pimped out setup. Now. This is all gonna be in one video. I have no idea how this is gonna look uh, in terms of you guys watching this all through one video. It might be a long video, it might be a short video, I have no idea. I'm gonna shut the hell up right after I say thank you so much to all of you guys for the support. A hundred thousand subscribers, seriously? Like, I never thought when I was starting Twitch or even YouTube that things would go the way they have, so I'm forever grateful for everything you guys have done for me in terms of support, subscribing, liking my videos, watching every single one of my videos. It's been incredible and I greatly appreciate it and long may it continue. So without further ado, oh my god, there is the setup. Now you're not going to be able to see me very well, I'm going to flip the camera over, but Look at this, look at this shitty room. This is a, basically a playroom. We're living in a super, super old house that really we just bought because the area is good and we're renovating the house. This is one of the least looked at rooms in terms of us doing renovations. All that stuff happens upstairs, but here we go, boys. Let me flip this shit over. And there we go. So everything is flipped over now. Again, just to show you guys from this perspective over here, look at this. Like, I know it's probably gonna hurt your eyes looking at all of this, but you only see that little corner over there and me doing my videos, but this is really the mayhem. And you know what? I've actually cleaned up this place like crazy. There was hundreds and hundreds of boxes, old toys of Mila's and stuff like that, um, that I've cleaned out just because we're trying to get rid of shit from our house. But this is the setup. So obviously this is kind of the angle. Hold on, let me give it to you. There, that's essentially the angle you guys look at. So you know what? It still looks shitty, but this angle is a hundred times, hundred times better than a hunted. I don't know what I'm saying here, but anyways, is a hundred times better than this shit. Anyways, we'll start with the back, I guess, and maybe work our way forward, or do we do work backwards? And I don't know. You know what? Let's start like this. All right. So over here is obviously the jerseys. They're all pinned up like shit. Um, this will all be improved over time. There's the jersey signed by Jeff Locke. Uh, a guy that watches my videos and streams, starting pitcher, or in the rotation anyways, for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, that's just a whole bunch of crap. There's the pot of potential we got going on there. Watch. This is delicious, by the way. If you want something that makes your water taste fantastic, I don't think it's even going to, uh, to, no, it's not going to focus. Son of a bitch. So, this is, there's an awkward mirror of me over there anyways. Um, this is the old setup. I'm not going to go too crazy into it because I'm going to show you guys the new setup but it's pretty ghetto. So we've got three screens. Um, they used to all be mounted separately, obviously on their own stands, but like an idiot, I spent $250 on this crazy metal stand that now basically allows all the screens to hover. And once all the, um, the cords are hidden, here, let me go this way and you guys will kind of see what I'm talking about here. See how, all the, how they're all kind of hovering on their own? Um, looks pretty sweet in my opinion. It'll look better once I've organized everything. Now look at this. To hold my webcam, I am using an old screen. I have not had the time to go out to the store and get myself a proper, um, just, I guess you'd call it a webcam stand or a, a camera stand, but I need to go do that. Um, and yeah, so we've got Razer keyboard that isn't lit up right now. Uh, Razer mouse, of course, that isn't lit up. A stupid pad I've got from somewhere. A MacBook Pro that I have to use now because, um, Really, my, my computer is no longer good enough to run my stream with everything I need to run it with. So I basically run my um, my MacBook with a whole bunch of other stuff running at the same time. There's the blue Nessie. 
the old baby that will be going bye bye very soon. Um, some shitty speakers that I've recently bought. I think they're just Logitech, you know, cheapo $30 speakers or something, just so I can see, hear myself when I'm editing, not see myself. Who wants to do that? Um, and moving on to the back part, uh, again, uh, will I go through this all over again when we moved into the new office? Probably not. When we move into the new office, I'll just show you guys the new office and show you how everything's laid out. So there's the HD PVR, the Hopog or Hopodge HD PVR 2. This was actually donated by uh, the lovely Ryath. He's someone that's in my streams more often, so a lot of you might not know who he is. But when I started out, he is um, an ex... I guess professional gamer and an ex-streamer and an ex-youtuber that really liked my channel right off the get-go and um donated that brand new to me to help me get started you know almost a year ago so i love the guy to death there's a bunch of freaking cords and look at this disaster so there's obviously just uh the router that does i have my own separate business internet in the house now look at all that dust that's almost embarrassing i'm gonna clean that up for when we go into the actual office there's my pc tower it is literally an asus tower i bought from best buy um i did a lot of research i mean cheap research let's call it um to try and buy myself the cheapest computer that would do everything i needed in terms of editing videos this is not you're not even looking at anything are you really um but in terms of editing videos and streaming and that was it now i'll leave the specs in the description because off the top of my head i can't remember it um in terms of the pc but all i know is it's not good anymore. I need an i7 processor. I need way more RAM, a much better hard drive, a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm actually gonna get a graphics card, I think, maybe the Avermedia installed into this piece of shit. Hopefully that'll allow the stream to be a little bit better quality as well over time. So a lot of upgrades going on. And of course, the babies are the PS4, which literally looks like shit. Um, but at least you guys see where I came from uh, and that I haven't turned on the PS4 in months and the Xbox One that I've been doing everything on because really all my other buddies and everyone that I've essentially built relationships with and stuff um, play on the Xbox One. So I'm not gonna sit there and play on the PS4 on my own when all of the CDK boys are, are playing COD or pro clubs or, or whatever else. Now, you may be looking at this and being like, what the hell, dude? What are these boxes? Well, again, because of the area we live in, um, a lot of, not necessarily floods happen, but because it rains so much, um, drain tiles is what they're called and essentially fail in these old houses especially this shitty old house that i've that we've moved into so um i need to basically make sure that if the basement floods i don't lose all my equipment so if the basement floods by a foot or so we should be fine we won't lose anything although i guess the electrical will fry oh god i didn't think about that but on that scary note that's the old absolutely horrible absolutely just disgusting setup that uh i've had to live through and really because i've been so busy and i've never been able to make it look nice but now you're going to see me going into the brand new sexy office. And here we are. So this is of course the entrance to my office. Now, I don't know, you can see some cheesy stuff that my wife puts up uh, around our house. But anyways, so the walk down to my new office is from upstairs. Oh wait, look at this. Look at this little mouse that's hanging out over there. Who's that? Hi Mila. Anyways, so I, uh, I walk down here, down, down the stairs. My commute's pretty damn long to my office, so. Here is uh, the entrance. Now you're looking at, a, I guess, a dresser or whatever. My office is here. I'll give you a little, 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 ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, how, how much, oh my God. I'm looking at the screen there. How much sexier is the office looking now? Anyways, boys, so I'll give you a tour of that baby. Let me just flip the camera around. All right, and there it is flipped around. So as you walk in, I mean, it's hard to give you guys like a proper peripheral or perception or whatever it is, but anyways, here is uh, the green screen that I'll show you guys uh, as I walk into the room. Uh, there is the office itself. Again, I wish I could back away from it or whatever, but I did my best to like hide all the wires. So that mess that you saw on the back of uh, the PC in my old office is all tucked and, and hidden away. And then as you can see down there as well, um, some wires have fallen. So I still need to do a little bit of work and, and tuck a few other wires and stuff like that. But um, there's the Xbox to the left. The PlayStation is to the right. That is not even plugged in. So uh, pretty funny there. And then uh, if you're looking up, there's a whole bunch of new equipment that is needed. So we've got a couple of umbrellas now for the green screen or umbrella lights, movie lights, whatever, studio lights, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we got just a, a random ass light over here. So um, it might start echoing a little bit in here, but here's like the, the, the back part of the office. It's literally just like a perfect 
white enclosed soundproof office. Let me close the door. There's my alarm system, obviously. So when I close the door, I don't know if you hear the thunk or whatever, but it basically seals off the room and it essentially becomes a fully soundproof room as well. Um, so like everything's sealed up. Uh, not that you give a shit about any of this stuff. So there's my street that you can see. And this is kind of the perspective again of what 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 I see as I'm either making videos or, or streaming or whatever to you guys. Um, and I guess we can go, go through a few things. So this is not gonna be a chair that will get Harry smashed, let's call it. Uh, uh, I actually got it from Ikea, believe it or not, but they have like this new, I don't know if you'll call it a premium line or whatever line of chairs. Uh, it has a 10 year warranty. I don't know, it's like all ergonomic and all this other shit. Instead of just having a gaming chair, you know, like the race car seat, I thought I'd get something to just look sexy and sleek. So there's the MacBook uh, Pro that's five years old, man, and still works like a beast. And I kind of wanted to show you guys this because a lot of people are like, well, why do you have a MacBook if you got like a PC and whatever? Well, you guys know that my PC sucks, right? So I actually run my Twitch chat when I'm streaming. There you go on the left, you can see that. Then there's my um, my tip calculator through the middle. And then there's uh, there's Skype as well over there as well on the right side uh, with all the guys and different group chats and stuff that I'm in. And then here I'll have like my music playing or, or, or Twitter open. Oh my gosh, you can actually see me. Look at that. Streamception or, or videoception, but anyways, there's XSplit that runs all my uh, software and stuff like that for my uh, for my streaming. There's of course the main monitor that runs the gameplay, and then there's my other monitor that I run all the other stuff. Like I'll run uh, music on this side eventually, uh, essentially as well. Um, all my different like again pop up notifications and whatever. Um, very very happy to finally have invested in like a proper podcaster. Or, People call it in simple or layman's terms, uh, like a radio DJ microphone or whatever. You know, all the guys that have been doing YouTube or uh, videos for a long time or streaming for a long time end up picking up something like this. So I thought, why not spoil myself eventually? It's amazing and I absolutely love it. Very, very happy with it. Um, you know, the boom and, and, and all that stuff. So really that's it. I mean, you know, now that everything's lit up, I mean, we've got the, the Razer keyboard, we've got uh, the Razer mouse, the stupid pad again, the cheapo speakers. And this is what I wanted to show you guys, right? You remember, again, I don't know if you can see it very well because it looks like it's kind of faded out. So I apologize if the quality looks like shit. But uh, other than the shit quality and probably not you not even being able to see what I'm trying to show you, um, the wires essentially are are well tucked away now. So it almost looks like the uh, the monitors are floating on that monitor stand I was showing you guys or talking to you guys in the start of the video. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of everything, man. Uh, you know, I, the office took six months to get finished, but it's finally done. Uh, everything in the back, I mean, there's nothing really to see in the back, just tucked wires and again, the, the microphone, or boom and the stand and, and the actual, uh, what do you call that? The, the the screen stand. And I still have that ghetto ass old monitor holding up my camera still. I'll be picking up a, you know, a camera stand or whatever pretty soon as well. It's crazy to think where we've come from. Uh, you know, we haven't even been doing YouTube for over a year yet. And uh, you know, we're, we're, we're into the 100,000 subscribers. So it's all thanks to you guys. You know I can get cringy, so I'll, I'll, I'll stop right away. But I just wanted to say thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. All of this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for your guys' support, both on Twitch and on YouTube. So thank you. Uh, I hope I can bring you guys more and more content. Now, this is kind of part one of my 100,000 subscriber thank you. I wanted to give you guys... It's shitty. I know. I'm. This is all from my iPhone, so I apologize if the quality is shit. I really do. Um, I'll be getting a new like vlogging camera that I'm hoping I'll start doing vlogs. I do a lot of charity car cruises, like toy cruises, where we load up our our Sunday drivers, our you know our fun cars with toys, brand new toys, and we we go on a cruise and then give them to to different charities and stuff like that for kids. Again, less fortunate than you and myself. Uh, so that type of stuff, I'd love to vlog, etc. So I'm gonna get a proper vlogging camera and it the quality should be better than this but on to what I wanted to say is part two hopefully will be a hundred thousand subscriber Q&A because I told you guys with how much you like Q&A's on my channel that we'd be doing Q&A's every 10,000 subscribers and I think the last time we did a Q&A was at 70,000 or maybe 60,000 subscribers so Yes, that may have only been two months ago or a month and a half ago, but you know, I owe you guys one. So I'm gonna try and get a Q&A out for you guys as well uh, as this video that you're gonna see sometime, I'm thinking this weekend. You're probably watching this on a Saturday or Sunday. And as always, my grateful Canadian ass will catch you beauties on the flip side. Peace!